What's the point of ISO if you can't ISO in combat? What's the point of ISO when Legend Lockdown pull up on you? You don't know what to do. You calling for them screens because Debo coming. Today I'm gonna show y'all some techniques. How to ISO against lockdowns, how to ISO in comp games, how to ISO when it matters, when it counts. Not against pros and rookies. All star, don't count. It's still beautiful, man. But it don't count. It don't feel as sweet when you drop a lockdown off ISO. Now, with that being said, there are some times that you're just gonna have to deal with it. Locks this year, 2K went with giving locks the benefit of the doubt more than us dribblers. Look what we have to work with. Lockdowns, they got tendencies out right now. They get all these Hall of Fame badges. They can just spam you, even with boost, even with unpluckable, even with 99 ball handle, you still get, it is what it is. But the glitchy has spins that you will be seeing in this tutorial against a legend lockdown on a 10K court is nice. Y'all been asking me for that glitchy has spin tutorial. Well, I got something to tell y'all. 1K likes on this blows on skirt video. 1,000 likes on this video and you got that glitchy has been tutorial. In fact, I'm gonna be working on it in advance because I know y'all gonna hit that 1,000. I, I just know y'all gonna hit that 1,000 like. If you really want that glitchy has spins that you're gonna be seeing me doing. Now, I didn't do too much glitchy moves in this because like I said, the techniques I'm gonna be showing you is what works and kind of size up your defender to see how he's playing you so that you can set up a glitchy move and get past it. Now, one more thing before we get in that video. Y'all been asking me, wait, does Robo have a YouTube? You know, I've been running Robo for the last two months now and he finally made a YouTube, y'all. I'm gonna need y'all to go ahead and subscribe to my boy right here. Right, blows on skirt here. If you don't subscribe to him, you is our weird man. I'm joking, <laughs> but for real. He dropped the dribble tutorial. He already has 100 subs. So first video got like 700 views. Subscribe before it's too late. You wanna be a day one, you wanna be a loyal. Just like I know my day ones, my OG. Start supporting somebody when they're coming up. Don't start supporting them when they already made. Let's get it. All right, now that we're here, we're on the 10K court. I'm just showing you guys how to ISO in comp games. Basically in any competitive game you have, whether it's park, whether it's stage, even the rec center, some of these moves, some of these things I'm gonna tell you do work. Now, the first thing you, you gotta have a go-to move coming up the court, all right? When a lock is full court pressing, you need a go-to move because it's gonna drain your stamina if you don't have one, trust me. Then you can get in your combos as you've seen. I just did some basic moves. Now, right here is an example of when you don't have a go-to move, when you don't use a go-to move and you're trying too much, you're gonna get so much bumps. Those bumps are going to drain your stamina and most of the time it'll get you a turnover. Now right here, Robo is playing keep away. There's not a lockdown on him. He can hit his combos as needed. He can basically do whatever he wants because a lot of people cannot guard those combos. But there's some times where 2K will give you a crappy animation as you've seen. So now we have to do a simple combo and get the bucket. Now here's a prime example of when you can do a little bit too much. In competitive games, you wanna make sure that when you hit glitchy moves, you're not doing too much. Because lockdowns can block everything and steal everything. Now right here, you see the guard on all the team is doing pro two up the court. Even though we do not have a lock, it's the best way, the fastest way to get up the court without getting those bump animations. And on top of that, without losing too much stamina. Right here, you notice that the lock is not guarding me, so I know I don't have to pro two up the court i can just hit my combos get to the rim and since it's a, not a lock it's a big man i can literally shift him up and get that three pointer which i want i want the three first more than the two because that's the whole point of iso and it's trying to get that bucket man get that three if they don't want to give up the three we take the two now right here we're playing sides on the screens we rather go out with the big man beating us than the guard going crazy now you see the wing ends up lagging and he goes out of bounds now the lock is back on me and he's semi pressing notice that he's not full court pressing because he knows I'll pro to him and just like a curry when he's dribbling in real life he he does a lot of between the legs coming up the court behind the backs and crossovers now notice how the left side is open sometimes you just gotta find a side that is open go just run you don't you can hit one or two combos but the whole point is trying to avoid the lock you can find the side that's open and attack it usually the defender is gonna just without thinking they're gonna think you're just gonna go straight to the rim or you're gonna quick stop and you saw what I did, instead of quick stopping or going straight to the rim, I drew the defender in, he reached, that gave me enough time to go back out to the three-point line and get a bucket. Cause like I said, it's all about getting that bucket, getting that W. Now the lock is still on me, he's not pressing me, but I'm still gonna avoid bumps. He's not pressing me so I can get into my combos a little bit more and just get straight to the rim, get that bucket since we're going two for two right now. If you want to make mixed taste, the best place to do it is the park. If you're trying to win games on the stage, you can do glitchy moves, but you have to read the defender. 
Lockdowns get tendencies. Lockdowns get crazy animations. It's just the way it is. And we don't have the dribble moves and the stamina to combat that like in previous years where lockdowns was getting laid down. All right. Now, right here, you're going to see when you ISO, never hesitate to shoot. Boom. Right there, I could have had a three. My takeover was going to be... It's my takeover is full. I don't have takeover booster or else this game would have been over with. But because I hesitated, the lockdown got some bumps and drained my stamina. Now I hit Robo. He does not have a lockdown on him, so he can cook this guard easily with a glitchy move because glitchy moves sometimes are the best moves when the defender does not know how to guard it. When the defender does not know how to guard it, bust out one of your favorite glitchy combos that you know will work. Now we got the lead. Shout out to Robo for cooking that guard, man. Now. We're trying to win this game, man. Even though your boy was very rusty, I didn't miss a shot. This was the first time playing stage in about a month. And this is the first time playing stage on my main account, which I'm using right now, in about four or five months. Now, this possession is the prime example of when a lockdown will get bailed out. Sometimes you literally can't do anything. Now, I wasn't executing on my combos properly, but he swiped one time and he got the steal. I have literally 99 ball handling and on hall of fame unpluckable there's no reason for that there's no reason for that and the momentum takes a shift we're no longer playing to take the lead we're playing behind now all it took was that one right here you need to pay attention as well because lockdowns the other team is not going to want to give up a three ball so take that easy bucket and trust in your defense and trust that I got, I, told, I kept telling my team, I got, I'm about to get takeover. So no worries. Just give up the two if we got, got to give up the two. Do not give up the three or it's game over. This is how you play. If, for all those, I know all my stage players and competitive players already know this. Never give up the three when it's 18 up. Play high and trust that you can get that three on the other hand. Now, we already know they're not going to want to give up a three, right? So, we know the lockdown is guarding me. He's going to be able to get some steals. They're going to be spamming, so be careful. Try to hold L2 when dribbling in these last possessions. For some reason, it works for me all the time. When I'm holding L2 on my... When I start a combo, start holding L2, it minimizes the chances of them ripping me for some reason. I wish it was like that all the time, but not right here. It's the last possession of the game. Last couple possessions. Might as well let Robo cook the non-lockdown. But he's spamming as well. So be careful when you're ISOing. So basically at the end of games, what you want to do is whoever the lockdown is guarding, pass it to the other guy that can ISO. If, you only, if you're the only ISOer, you just got to stick through it. All right, now, right here we were able to get a bucket because our plan worked. Minimize the lockdown chances of getting to hold the ball. And we get a three off of it because he was spamming reach and I did a cross to the corner and I got a three. Now, right here, we're not giving up the three. It's still two points to win it. We're not giving up the three. I got takeover. Now, right here, Jaheim reached. Then he rolled with the big. And I mean, that guy hit a tough shot. So you all know we were spinning the block because... We weren't going to give up the threes once again. We we're going to play the same way, but this time we're going to let Robo cook the guard. Because although I wanted to ISO to show you guys how to ISO on a lockdown, even though this lockdown is not maxed out yet, it's still a legend. All right. And locks get their badges fast and their attributes are already crazy. 90 something block, 90 something steal. It don't matter. Now we're going to let Robo cook this game. And because we're gonna let Robo cook this game, the lockdown is gonna catch on to it. And he's gonna say, you know what? He's not the one scoring anymore. It is two of eyes. Robo is about to ISO the mess out of his guard. But the thing is, if the lockdown were to switch on Robo, IQ wise, it's gonna get swung right back to me and I'll cook the guard up with a glitchy move. Because on, on non-lockdowns, glitchy moves work 99% of the time. Sometimes lockdown will get those bump steals, man. Now you see the non-lockdown is on Robo. And look at how the difference is, how much easier it is to score. He was bumping Robo, but it meant nothing. Because his strength is pretty much lower than Robo's. Now we're still playing the same way. Give up the twos. The guy ends up green in a crazy shot. And pay attention, Robo is lagging out the game. Say goodbye to RVC, man. 
VC gone. Now you see I get them ankles from that lockdown. I did take them ankles. The VC is gone, bro. And the, the, the dude is just out here greening 30s. It's crazy how I give him props, man. He's, he was out here greening them 30s. He was out here greening them 30s, so you can't do much about that. Now, for me, I knew this game was pretty much over. It's two versus three, and it's one basic. It's one ball handler. Now, right here, I get him with a little crab. I should have shot it the first time. It don't matter. I'm getting bumped. I'm getting harassed, bro. I'm trying to get some. Do not have park dunks on, bro. I forgot to take them off, man. I haven't been on this account in months. But anyways, the moral of the story is when you're ISOing in a competitive game, you want to make sure you're executing your combos. Because one mess up, as you see right here, I do a reverse spin instead of hitting another half spin. It messed the whole thing up. I'm out of stamina. And it's looking bad out here, Chief. It's looking bad out here. You want to make sure you warm up, execute your combos. Execute your combos, bro. But anyways, if y'all want this half spin tutorial, 1,000 likes on this video, and I'll bring it to y'all. ASAP. Big up on yourself. Big up the Lord Almighty. Cause what else one count nut nut? Uh, GVO and I don't know the thing. Go. Yardman gaming. Gone.